All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanced Diet Hotel Entertainment. Hope so you enjoy the exercise tips with Papa Jojo. They always give us on top of the Good Morning Ninja Show. Now, I remember when I be there quite young, um, the impression we'll be get that time we'll be young. Now, see, people like us, young women, young children, as at the time we'll be, be the end result of our, all the work we'll do, all the training we'll get now for Inside Kitchen. Highest, <laughs> the highest level we'll get now to do it, now to even marry so that we'll go feel bomb picking. But nowadays, we don't they get certain reorientation. In fact, even the media, because a lot of advert at times, when it comes to cooking and some other things, you go see saying that the woman that they push for from make it gonna be like saying that there now be the highest place where any girl child supposed they. But for inside Nigeria now, and thanks to a lot of international partners like UNESCO and UNICEF, where they partner to make sure say the girl child for inside our country they they very cajured. Now, according to report today, here says sixty percent of a lot of children where they out of school now girls, and that's number we get this very cajured guest in the building where they shook them out. On top of this matter, we're concerned the girl child, the way forward, and the vision, especially with certain projects when they come up with the target of the year 2030. Help me make welcome this morning. We get a counselor in the building, um, Ben Ozadigbe, in the building. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good Thank to you. have you. Um, ben is the counselor from a girls project. Yes. Um, where they just established last year for inside Wabudo, Nigeria. Now, let's dwell on the statistics where Luchi don't bring come out. Now, 60% out of school children now girls. And if you have to put the statistics together, about 10.5 million Nigerian children are out of school. I want to know how a girl project, they actually go as far as empowering the girl child to take over leadership position and changing the mindset of cultural interference. Okay, so I'm just going to give a, a brief uh, background on uh, the girls project. We're a social movement. Um, we seek to empower young women and girls from diverse backgrounds from all around the country. Um, we're going to do this through spreading awareness and using anti-gender-based violence and girls' rights advocacy. Um, right now, uh, there's a lot of discrimination against a female child. So we're trying to change the narrative by spreading awareness of the situation so the more people are aware, the more likely there is to be a change in our society. Um, also, we want, to, we want these girls to be educated so that they can liberate themselves, their families, and their communities, you know, to rise out of poverty and to rise out of, out of that mindset where, you know, the, the woman is limited to the, to the kitchen or to, you know, getting married. Because at the same time, it's actually quite dangerous because a lot of these girls are getting married at, you know, young Long ages. Age. Yeah. I mean, we have laws theoretically in place to protect them, but these, it's one thing to have laws and it's another thing to abide by these laws. So up to 43% of girls under 18 are still being married. And up to 20% of girls under 15 are still being married. And, you know, these comes with a lot of repercussions. Imagine a young girl getting married, you know, giving birth. So right now, the, the rate of maternal mortality in Nigeria is among the highest in the world because you have young girls who are not even physically or emotionally developed. They end up with STDs, psychiatric, you know, disorders. So it's, it's, it's just a mess. So right now, our job is to spread awareness, raise awareness, and try and minimize you know, these happenings in the country. Well, but how do you do that? Because I mentioned something, cultural interference. Now, when we start the show, Luchi Komasai talks, say, um, growing up, we were told that the girl child should be in the kitchen. In short, even now, when you tell a person, say, oh, I don't get too much, as a girl, you tell a person, say, I don't get two masters, and I intend going forward or even further to get another master. They will tell you, say, uh-uh, wait in. Now, woman, you build your mind now to just get married, bump picking, and just rest for inside your husband's house. So that's cultural. How will not they go about it? Trying to change the mindset of people, first of all, on the importance of investing in the girl child. Okay, first of all, we need these girls to realize they themselves, you know, they need to realize their self-worth. So if they realize their self-worth, they can stand up for themselves and be like, Papa, Send me to school, or I want to go to school. I want to do better. Oh, no, but you see, at this point in time, I'm going to need to come in because if you come talk that one, that's not for people where they're exposed. Now, a lot of these children, these statistics where you give out to on mm. top of the children where they marry under 18, under 15, they are mostly in the rural area. Yeah. The rural area, those are places where they don't get access to certain information. They never know, say, they get certain rights. Then they're intimidated by their loved ones. They get cajoled into being married away as young as 15, 13, or even 11 years of age. In fact, I know, say, one time a lawmaker in particular would come outside and marry a child where they so young, where the thing caused a lot of provoke. And as we speak today, that person is still married to that child. And the person they for inside our, they're amongst the, the lawmakers. We suppose and that's a lawmaker. To the example, that's a lawmaker. And the person is still there, never come out and frontier. In fact, that one, the family even talks about the family of the girl 
come outside talk to me when I leave this man. Now we give and make for marriage. Because it's cultural. It is. When, when we see projects like this, we actually appreciate it because we know that the girl child, they need to be, they, we need to empower the girl child. But when you reason, say, some cultural interference see day on ground, how do we change that? See, yes, granted, we have a long way to go. But the thing with culture is it evolves. So from our perspective, it might not seem like much is changing. But over the span of a couple of years, there will be a difference. You know, so now they try to reach out those, how now they try to reach out to those we, rural we, areas in particular? We actually, actually, we actually do go out to those places and have outreaches. We run programs throughout the year. Um, so our first program last year was a Women's Walk for Peace. And we had experts on domestic violence and sexual violence. And we basically concluded with a guided meditation to emotional healing and spiritual awakening. So the, the, the plan or the thought behind it is if these girls are aware of their rights, even even the parents, if the parents realize, okay, maybe I should put more focus on my child because the potential for them to suffer is high. If they realize the amount of risk and danger they're putting their child in, the hope is that, you know, there will be some kind of change. Because mm. you'd expect these parents to love their kids enough to want the best for them, even though poverty might limit. It's, it's speaking of poverty now, I know, say, again, the particular region for Nigeria, we, on the irony, they love people no say they actually value the child. There's a nothing part of Nigeria. They value the girl child because... When the child don't reach of their own age, they're marriageable. Mm. They use cows to mm. exchange this girl child. So, so they rather focus on their girl child than the boy child for the northern part of Nigeria. It depends on what they are focusing on. No, they're focused on the girl child because of the marriage, because of the fact that they go use and exchange like 20 cows when time reach for the girl to marry. They go use and exchange like 15 cows when time reach. This yes. one are the family. They actually, they know they play with their girl child in the northern part of Nigeria. Hey, it depends on what they are focusing on. Are they sending the girl child to school? Or they, they are saying whatever they are doing, but they are, they, their owner say that girl child must be catered to it yeah, so that when that time they are preparing, yes, exactly, won't give them out immediately for marriage. So in that kind of situation, how owner they take reorientate the minds of this parents? Because now the parents they they give the, the yes they, they give the child that certain mentality. Yeah. Say so you need to prepare yourself as young as 11, 9, 13 yeah, for yeah. marriage. That's what I'm saying. So it's not just the kids we're educating; we're educa educating the parents as well. Like, yeah. we're making them aware of the risks they're putting their child in. Like, we're basically saying to them, if your child should get married and get pregnant, she could die. But they say, about Adwam. They say, I did it. Yeah, well, I mean, well, we I tell them, you age, did it, nine but years of age. Yeah, well, thousands today. of people are dying. Like, just because it worked mm -hmm. for you doesn't mean it worked for everyone else, you know? And then, hopefully, we back that up with stats. And they just take it from there. Because it's, it's a one step at a time thing. You know, it's, it's hard to change very culture. Very true. You have to yes. keep on letting people know, say this particular thing that they do is totally bad. But let's take it from another angle. Mm. I know say a girl project is all about empowering the girl child. But let's look at the boy child too. Now we know say according by statistics, six out of every 10 Nigerian um, child, they don't actually face different form of sexual, physical and emotional violence before the age of 18. Now, within this striking, one out of four girls, they actually suffer any form of sexual violence. And also, um, one out of ten boys, they suffer sexual violence too. In as much as Una, they try to educate the girl child on how to own their body and how to speak out. Is there any education for the boy child too? As you, see, as you can see, I'm a man. I'm, mm -hmm. in, I'm involved know, in this right? project. So if the men, if the boys are aware of what's going on, hopefully they learn to respect women. They learn to, you know, realize that no means no. So if it's not just about the girls, I mean, they are the ones in focus, but the boys can learn from this movement as well. You know, for them to realize the, 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 the potential impact that behaviors can have on these girls, like you can't just, you know, take advantage of a girl sexually. Like you're basically gonna mess up her future. You don't know the side effects. She might have like psychiatric disorders just because of that one moment of madness from you, just because you couldn't control yourself. So in as much as we're trying to bring awareness on situations of girls, we hope that, you know, the men and the boys learn from it as well. All right, so any project one that they work on currently, anyone who don't they, on one plan to start at or not already start and not already kick off, be it inside Lagos or outside? Or, or um, we have pro, um, programs like every Saturday, every, every other Saturday, like we, we go to internally, dis, internally displaced camps and we, we, hand, we, have, we have handouts and we, you know, have talks and just little get-togethers and, you know, sometimes we, we have a bit of fun just to, you know, make things lively for the kids. And then we always give messages. Or sometimes we just have walks. And, we, okay. yeah, just walk down the street and we get, like, um, influential people, you know, uh, celebrities. Join or, in the race yeah, and the call. How can yeah. people stay informed on some of our activities? 
Oh, we have um, a page on Instagram. Tell us about um, it. A Girls Project Nigeria. Okay. So we're constantly updating and putting up posts on our you know, recent gatherings or, or things that are about to come up. So people can easily, easily join in. And a Girls Project Nigeria. A Girls Project, a Nigeria. Girls Project NG. NG. NG, okay. Yes. A Girls Project NG. Now you be yes. on top of Instagram. On Instagram, yes. Oh, fantastic. And people can come and sponsor too, right? People can sponsor. People can volunteer. Like, I started out as a volunteer. Okay. So... Um, People can come. People can come and volunteer, you know, uh, or sponsor. Yeah. So. Oh, that's very good. Thank you so much. Um, a girls, a girl a girls project, a girls, a girls project, project. NG. NG. NG, NG, girls yes. project, NG. Now, be the handle on top of Instagram. Feel free to walk out go there to get more information. I wish I would keep on top of the couch, but mm -hmm. say time is never our friend on top of the show. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Thank you for having me. We're gonna need to buy a small break. By the time we we'll come back, we get new stop of the hour with JBK Ogunladi. Stay with us. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.